it's amazing that it's only been yeah. nine weeks. It just, uh, it's all come together so amazingly <laughs> quickly and efficiently. It's just, uh, it's mind-boggling. You know, I think for me, the, the fact that you are a real musician, you have a lot of concepts that you're working with the rest of it, it ended up being, I think, a really healthy balance between preconception and magic. You know, things do happen in the studio. Um, being open to the possibility of those changes of, of, of going with it. I mean, you, you do, at a certain point, just have to let go of some control and say, okay, where does this music want to go? And really, it does have a life of its own. And I think you did a wonderful job, Chenbu, in, in, in allowing both to be present at the same time. Your intellect, your your brilliant ideas um, in preconception, and the openness to let things happen. Yeah, that's exactly right. We were faced with a lot of moments of, well, could should we try this? And you you uh, you just let you let go. That's a per that's a perfect way to say. It. You just said, yeah, let's let's do this. I mean, the the recording the flute outside is of course oh, a yeah. great example of yeah. of just going with the flow. Um, that well, that was that was something that apparently the, the heavens were speaking. I, mean, exactly. I guess that Ramika just said the same thing. And I come around the corner. You yeah, I, saw you, I saw you outside listening. I stepped out the door and heard and went, oh. And I was just like, oh, we just all of a sudden it was everybody's I mean, I, like. I'm driving, oh. I'm driving the Toyota truck up oh. here. <laughs> and I don't know if you noticed, but I literally turned the engine off and it glided to a stop because I wanted to hear it. I saw that. I I mean, was, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm seeing that from outside. like. Okay. I guess so, this is something's going happen. on here. Yeah. It's like, all right, <laughs> go outside. And then you on a ladder listening to it. I love that. Like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Anyway, so that that kind of just <laughs> just going going letting go into those moments and and, and I mean it happened numerous times in parts. Uh, just sort of like you know you, you would <laughs> take the chart and throw the chart away. Uh, you know it's it, yeah it's great to have a framework. Um, but also trusting uh, these incredible music, other musicians with your with your work, and saying, "Hey, what do you think? What would you? How do you feel this?" And, um, and obviously, you know, uh, leading them into that and just and letting go. Uh, some incredible moments in these songs. You know, and I'd say too that one of the things in listening back to the final mixes or, or near final mixes. Something you both said about you know stripping it back that you you don't have to be committed to use everything that was done. I mean, a lot of times you throw something on the canvas to see whether it sticks, you know, to see what it does, and you have to be willing to take those chances and to accept that sometimes they don't work. I mean, if you have that conservative position of you know this is what we're doing, you know, you're missing half the magic. And and yeah, at the end, very often it is a matter of stripping back, and I think the mixes have the austerity, you know, uh, that, that this record wants because of that, the, the willingness to say, okay, no, not everything we put on here was, was essential, and that's what you want, is what's essential. And you guys did a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job in the mixes to get there. Jeff Haynes' credit, I mean, we have these, you know, on a number of the pieces, we've got these colors track where he's, he's actually just playing, you know, he's on the floor grabbing all of these different textural instruments. And usually we do that, and then we move it around. And we take, okay, oh, let's take the little shaky thing here and put it over here. And let's take this and put it over here. I think we moved at most two things out of all of the songs, out of all of the color tracks. I think we moved... The Jeff did? The Jeff did. So it's exactly where he performed them. And he, so he performed them in exactly the right <laughs> yeah, spot. That's, and, so that's, sort of, it's, that's and while we're talking about musicians, I mean, you know, I have uh, to everybody. talk about Pramik, you know. I mean, one of my... You know, one of my closest friends was, was Chuck Greenberg. I mean, just one of the most wonderful players that ever, ever lived, who played the lyric on a, a wind instrument. And, I, you know, the thing I always said about Chuck was that I never saw anybody with more melody. He could walk into a studio and, and not just play what I call finger melody, not just riffing, but really a singable melody every time. And Chuck had that in him. And I, I literally, I wouldn't say despaired of ever finding another player. I didn't even think that it was remotely possible. Um, and then to have Pramik walk in here and just kill us with what he did. I mean, it, it, it's incredibly 
touching for me, and it, yeah. you know, it invokes, you know, memories of working with Chuck, and, you know, to have anybody step into those shoes killed me, and uh, he did a beautiful, beautiful job. The, the range of pieces uh, that Shambu brought to us are, are <laughs> it's huge, I mean, his experience extends east to west to jazz to, you know, um, I mean, sequencing this is going to be a wonderful experience, I think, because there almost is no wrong sequence because it, it really does journey journey through. I mean, there's, there's some strong peaks and, and valleys in here, but, I mean, the valley's not being bad. The valley's being just this other, this other peaceful, more peaceful place as opposed to this high-energy tap-your-foot dance on the, you know, yeah. uh, get-out-your-dance-shoes kind of stuff. Uh, it's... Um, but and that it's but it's all it, it holds together. Well, I, you know, and that's and that's and that's that's from the that's from his, his right his inner spirit. Yeah, I mean the the two things that I say often are you know one do I believe this person you know do I believe the music do I feel that I'm really hearing the essence of this person is this person acting the role is this person trying to emulate something else you know, ultimately, do I believe this person? There's also a, a syndrome that happens with brilliant session players where they try to do, you know, this one's going to be bossa nova, this one's going to be, you know, and they're very competent at doing it. I mean, you know, they're brilliant at doing it, but the net result is that there's no, you have no idea who the musician is. The, the identity of the musician is blurred or lost entirely. And the beauty of Shambu and his work is that one, I believe him all the time, yeah. and two, yeah. despite the forays into different genres, I never feel a lack of continuity. His artistic vision is persuasive enough to bridge those moves into different worlds, mm -hmm. which is very remarkable. And his... his Musicianship and, and musical uh, humility uh, co coming out in, in the mixing and editing process. Uh, you know, there's some great guitar lead sections going on, and it's like, now I've said that I've said that too many times. Let's take mm -hmm. that out. Mm -hmm. And it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, okay, you're yeah. right. There's another another an example of stripping yeah. back, but also just hint, uh, you know. Trying to taking it into this that that objectivity this, like, about his own stuff. About his own, yeah, it's yeah. not just yeah. oh, I need that in there. More of me, more of me. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, usual um, space, but it's just this very like no, this this needs to this needs to come back on the and 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 be simple mm -hmm. here. Yeah. I distinctly remember the first day, the first piece. It may have even been the first take. It may have been the second take. But I remember Will and I looking at each other, going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. "Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the guy came to play. The guy came to play. The guy came with real stuff, yeah. with real heart, with and real vulnerability jobs. and vulnerability. It, the whole that was. I didn't expect that. Uh, I didn't um, know that was there. Yeah. And then this, this, yeah. you turned up. You turned up with your heart exposed, vulnerable, and it, you, you killed me. And and and. And st you know, instead, for absolutely everybody, him included, first day of recording, even first day of recording a new record for him. Yeah. There's ner there's incredible nervous energy that is really hard to, to get rid of. Call it red light fever. You know, first time the red light comes on, you're sitting in that chair. It's really hard. Somehow, uh, you transcended that. Mm. Whatever that is, whatever that was, and we just and yeah, it was one of the most productive just, first just, days. I oh, we just we just ever. we kicked off into this incredible journey. Your vulnerability, your willingness to to really let go of ego, and and let the music take you was was very touching for me. It meant a lot.